Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. Did Alexander Povetkin just expose today's heavyweight division? In terms of the depth of quality within the division, Alexander Povetkin, basically a 41-year-old relic from the Klitschko era. In my opinion, Povetkin's been on the slide for quite some time now, over the past four years or so. I think 2016 was when Povetkin was last, you know, at his best kind of thing. Ever since then, to me, the guy's been on the slide. I think that's evident when you actually look at his performances since the Johan Du Harpers fight. But this guy, at 41 years old, still managed to knock out the third-rated ring magazine heavyweight in the world. By the way, this guy, Alexander Povetkin, is a relic from the Klitschko era, which was branded as terrible, boring, uncompetitive by a lot of people. Is the heavyweight division today really all that much stronger than the Klitschko era? I'm not entirely convinced, to be honest with you, and I've been saying this for a while now. I had a live stream one time a long time ago, and me and Mark were discussing this. I said then, listen, I don't think the heavyweight division now is all that much better than it was when the Klitschkos were reigning. There's more coverage now, because the division is being run by the West. There's more coverage, yeah, but is it actually any stronger? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, like I said, we've just had Povetkin knocking out the third-rated ring magazine heavyweight in the world. It clearly passed his best Povetkin, right? Who was at his best in the Klitschko era, when, like I said, it, it was branded as terrible, boring, uncompetitive, etc., etc., one of the worst eras in heavyweight boxing. This guy's managed to knock out Dillian White. Kubrat Pulev, another relic from the Klitschko era, still hanging around the top 10. Robert Hellenius, another, uh, another relic from the Klitschko era, just knocked out a hot prospect in Adam Kalnatsky. If this era is that strong, I mean, why are these guys still knocking about having success? Is the division now really all that much better in quality in comparison to the Klitschko era. It's certainly more exciting, don't get me wrong, but what about the quality? Is the quality any better now? Um, and like Anthony Joshua, I mean, he fought Vladimir Klitschko, of course, a 41-year-old Klitschko coming off a loss, uh, 18 months out of a ring, a career longest outside the ring, and he went life and death with Klitschko. Again, I do have to preface that and say Anthony Joshua was green, I do have to say that, but still, you know, Klitschko clearly passed his best, taking Anthony Joshua life and death. Again, from a weak era, one of the worst eras in heavyweight boxing. Let's take, um, let's take some of the names who were about in the Klitschko era. Guys like Sultan Abragamov, Samuel Peter, um, David Hay, Ruslan Shagaev, Chris Bird. You know, names like this. If you took those names at their prime and put them in today's heavyweight division, would they be competitive in the top 10, against today's top 10? I personally believe so. A prime Samuel Peter versus a prime Dillian White, to me is a 50-50 fight. I think Peter would have a good chance of beating Dillian White. What about someone like Chris Bird versus Andy Ruiz? You can't tell me stylistically that wouldn't be a competitive fight. You know, Chris Bird, you know, he beat the likes of David Tua. The guy was a very good boxer. I'm sure he could give guys trouble in the heavyweight division today. No doubt about it. Abragamov, another guy, awkward, you know, horrible kind of boxer to fight. That guy would give the likes of Dillian White, Andy Ruiz problems, in my opinion. What about a prime Samuel Peter versus Deontay Wilder? I think that would be a firefight. I would, I would favour Deontay Wilder, but Samuel Peter would be very competitive, in my opinion. You know? There's guys from the Klitschko era in their primes who, in my opinion, would definitely have success in today's era. What about prime David Hay against some of these guys? I'm sure this guy would, I'm sure that a prime David Hay would compete well in the top 10. Not saying he'd be a champion or the champion, not at all. But would he compete? In my opinion, absolutely. In fact, when you really look at it on a whole, in terms of quality of contenders, is the division any better now, really? We've got the top two guys in Joshua and Fury, both really good champions in my opinion, really good fighters. But let's say we 
you can compare Joshua and Fury to Vitaly and Vladimir, prime for prime. I think it's pretty close, to be honest. Um, but the rest of the contenders... I'm not entirely convinced today's contenders are any better than the previous eras, to be honest. I'm really not convinced. Really not convinced, from what I've seen. I mean, numerous people on social media and even uploaders say the Klitschko era was one of the worst eras in heavyweight boxing in terms of quality, in terms of competition, etc, etc. And a lot of people are saying today's a golden age. Well if, well, if that's the case, how can a guy who's 41 years old, past his best, coming from one of the worst eras in heavyweight boxing, coming into a golden age, how can that guy knock out the third best heavyweight in the world? In my opinion, the Klitschko era isn't as weak as a lot of people are making out, or today's era is nowhere near as strong as a lot of people are making out. That's how I see it, personally. I really don't think there's that much difference in terms of the quality of the top 10 now to back in like two, uh, 2010, 2009. I don't think there's that much difference in quality, to be honest. I honestly think it's very comparable. You know, maybe today's is slightly better, maybe the Klitschko eras were slightly better, or maybe it's the same. Regardless, in my opinion, there's really not much in it. There's really not much in it. Um, that's just how I see it personally. I do feel the heavyweight division these days, you know, has been slightly overblown. It is slightly overrated in terms of like the depth of quality. I think that's mainly just because Western fighters are now dominating again. I kind of expected that, to be honest. But, um... Yeah, man. One thing I will say, it is certainly more exciting in this era. We, we're in more, we're in more of an exciting era. I will say that we are in a more exciting era. That is good. So I'm not gonna, I'm not shitting on today's division. I'm just trying to have a general discussion, an open debate on on what era was actually stronger in terms of competition. Is it comparable? In my opinion, it is. It really is. Like I said, Povetkin's knocked out the third-rated Ring magazine fighter. You know, Pulev is still knocking around the top 10 at, what, 40 years old? Hellenius, another relic, knocked out Kalnatsky. Um, even at a lower level, someone like Dimitrenko, who was a, you know, basically a fringe contender in the Klitschko era, even he's knocked out prospects like Adrian Granat. So there we go. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts. Just a real um, open topic, I guess. I'm kind of intrigued to hear your guys' thoughts. Me personally, like I said... I don't think the difference in quality is all that much different, but um, I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts. Peace.